don't worry about the next because it's your boy Chris with the next. All right, I don't know why my phone is on some trifling ish, but um, all right, so I want to talk about does negativity sell and does negativity win? All right, so we all, I'm a little late on this, but I have been seeing it on TMZ and Dish Nation, which is my show. Um, Wendy Williams, first, yeah, I want to get on that. Wendy Williams talking about do we need, um, we don't need Hollywood, because she fired, first of all, she fired some of her staff. She had a big party, and then she fired them, like, the next uh, day, they got calls, like, oh, we won't be needing your services anymore. And I could do a video on that, unfairness in the workplace. Because I had something similar happen to me. But I'm not ready to bust my tea yet. But yeah, that'll I'll be looking for that video in the future. Near future. <laughs> but anyways, yeah. So she fired some of her staff the next, the very next day. In the morning. Probably when they was hungover or whatever. Over her comments about the uh, historically black colleges. I believe Stacey Dash or Donald Trump, somebody said something about it and she was saying that we don't, that we shouldn't have historically black colleges because there aren't any white ones. First of all, what the fuck do you think Yale is? What the fuck do you think Harvard is? What the fuck do you think Penn State is? And I'm sorry to use such harsh harsh language, but again, she's a shock jock radio station, so she's used to that. Uh, let me stop saying um, but yeah, getting back on topic, I just think that was just, she was dead ass wrong for that comment. And first of all, it's your show. It's called the Wendy Wendy Williams Show. Yes, you do have other people producing it. Yes, you do have other people that are making it happen, but. How is it that you let that leave your mouth? And you went to college, you and your sister. And I'm not sure if they went to a historically black colleges, a college, but either way, they both went to college. And like, why would you even let that leave your mouth? I don't understand, you know, I didn't understand that. And for you to fire your staff for that, no. You should fire yourself for that. Or you should have just, you shouldn't even have said that. Like, that came out of your mouth. So that's just letting us know, are you reading a script now? Are you not saying how you mean it? I mean, you could say, like, you they can give you a topic, just like on here or YouTube or anything. They can give you a topic, and you could spit your flow on it. You know, you could, uh, because that's what we do, you know. Before, are you, but it's one thing to read a script like you're an actor, because to me that's fake and you say like you mean it and I know you can't say some stuff is kitchen table talk and I do agree with her with that because you know like the whole uh, death of Dr. Seb, Sebi and the whole his cure for HIV <laughs> that's some kitchen table talk you know he died under mysterious conditions Ew, that's, that's just crazy you know and it ain't from no damn old age neither. But again, that's some kitchen table talk. Y'all already know what's up. Anyways, getting back to um, Wendy Williams. She was dead ass wrong for that comment and she shouldn't have fired her staff. Now you want to make the after shows every Wednesday. Like you starting to mess up the formula that made you you and made people watching you. So I don't even know how this season is going to go. The real is already on a uh, shaky waters. They may survive. They may not survive without Tamar, because we all used to seeing Tamar. Maybe that's a shake up for the show, just to get us talking. Maybe they're trying to pull off a Destiny Child or something. I, I don't know what's going on with that, but yeah, I don't I see that show surviving either. Um, yeah, so negativity, you know. You know that because that was a real negative comment. So and, and it backfired. Karma is hit her in his butt. 
on her non-existent but because that was just real dreadful and I'm not saying I hate Wendy Williams I mean I think sometimes she can be out of place and out of line but but yeah that was just that just crossed the line that was just stupid and it backfired and you know I was just seeing you know shows and other stuff because I just wanted to talk about like negativity in general because I have a lot of friends and myself and a lot of people who you know just want to do good in life just want to help out people just want to help out ourselves just you know want to be positive spirits and I see all the positive spirits being down or, or questioning existence and then you got people that then kill the whole family and they be like yeah I killed the whole family and I'll do it again and they have no wonder in the world and they want and they and they want to live to 90 and sometimes they may do that because it's like, how did Tukey Williams get killed? Who wanted to make a change with his life? And we still got Charles Manson. And the only reason why Jeffrey Dahmer died, because his death was an inside job. The guy even said it. Somebody who worked there years ago, something came out online, basically saying what he said. And that came out online first, and then the dude basically confirmed it later years later and it was basically word for word not word for word but saying the exact same thing that was online that um like he was in a prison and they was cleaning the the gym now how are you going to be cleaning a gym and there's no po and you in jail and there's no policeman watching like all that stuff is a weapon there I mean you could make a toothbrush out of a weapon but a gym, done belts, all of that is a weapon. So, yeah, but I'm going to kitchen table talk again. But that video came out, and, and people basically, yeah, well, they know they know that. So, yeah, I'm just uh, rambling on different topics. But I did want to talk about the whole Wendy Williams thing. I don't know if there could have been something else I want to talk about um, that made me spark this conversation like with the whole love and hip hop shows those are so played out all this fighting all this ghetto -ness. it's just really tiring to see that especially from a minority community where we already get looked at like savages you know it's real crazy and so yeah my opinion those negativity does not win no i mean it may sell but it ain't gonna win you know because i think we all you know expect something negative to happen to us even when we having a good time you know we can't really enjoy it because we always expected it to end and that shouldn't be so yeah uh any comments questions concerns rambling revelations whatever you know what to leave in the comment section below uh like, comment, share, subscribe, um, disagree, agree, you know, I'm still going to be me. So, um, yeah, and I'm, I, I'm just trying this formula out because it's a little bit easier for me. But I will go back to Chris with the next. Well, I'm still Chris with the next. But this is Chris with the next radio. Because when I was in college, well, I'm still kind of in college. But I used to, for two years, I did um, radio, a college radio, and it was fun. The teacher was cool, but then he started becoming ass, and I'm like, no, nah, I'm not waking up every Saturday just for, you know, you to be damn negative. So, um, yeah, this gives me this radio feel. And you know, I love entertainment in any aspect. Uh, I don't know, well, yeah, I do like sports. I just love entertainment, you know. So this is just giving me this radio feel, you know, it's a little bit easier for me. But I will be going back to my other fun you seeing me. But um y'all need to give me some topics. Shoot, I'll be working like crazy. <laughs> I don't even know what to be talking about. But I do want to do a video on unfairness in the workplace because I do think that and I think that goes back to a lot of um the negativity win because well, it doesn't, but 
you do have a lot of like I said people who actually work and they get treated unfairly where you, you know you have people who you, you like you talking to them and it's like how are the hell you still working here because oh well, you may have you may be friends with the boss or manager and see that's that's where I, I can't like you see that's where it's crossing the line that's why you should not be friends with co-workers or if you're a manager you can't really be friends with co-workers because it creates a biased ass environment because you feel like, oh that's my friend so if I fire you it's gonna be some problems and we ain't gonna be friends no more but that's another video and another topic I just want to jot it down you know so I can remember anyways this has been your boy, Crystal Thanex, on some real-ish. Peace.